Okay, let's get this thing brightened up. Good morning, you guys. It is a Monday morning. It's usually my job to get the kids ready in the morning, so that's what I've been doing. Now I gotta get myself ready. I start every morning with oil pulling, and then I follow it up with water. Clean water is so, so important. So I start with a glass of water, and then I start with a seed probiotic. Would you like to actually see a full morning routine? I've got a lot of people actually asking for the full morning routine. Okay, good morning, you guys. I still got my raspy morning voice. <clears throat> anyway, this is real life, so I'm just gonna get the camera out and go for it. I eat a plant-based diet, and I feel stronger and better than ever. I feel good. Like, seriously, I haven't worked out yet. First thing, like, I haven't even eaten any food. I just drank a little bit of water. I wake up looking good feeling good, ready to go. I'm actually so full of energy and life that it's actually hard for me to chill out from working in the yard, landscaping, to working out, riding my bike, swimming in the ocean, all the things. I just feel so good. And I wanna share what I'm doing with you guys because I know that it can help you. I get messages from people on Instagram every day. I'm just gonna wake up full of energy and ready to go and ready to share with you guys what I eat. This is real. And the tricky thing is you guys have seen this before. What we eat does not change very often. We usually eat the same things. Building and creating good, healthy habits are so crucial. So to be honest, we don't change things a lot. We start every morning with the same two smoothies. Aaron does a green or a blueberry smoothie that still has a lot of greens in it. Here is this morning's green smoothie. It's not pretty, you guys. It's kind of ugly, right? It's kind of gross looking but it's so good and so good for you. We tell everybody, whether you're on a carnivore diet or just trying to dip your toes into a healthier lifestyle, we tell everybody to start their day with a green smoothie. It will transform your life, seriously. It's like a multivitamin in a glass. You could probably eat canned peaches and french fries for the rest of the day and still get nearly everything you need just from drinking this. So the kids had theirs. I'm gonna slug this down and I'm gonna start making breakfast. So I'm gonna do a little chatty chat here while I peel and freeze bananas. So I get asked every time I go grocery shopping, what on earth am I doing with all of these bananas? I tell people the truth that we eat a plant-based diet, tell them about our YouTube channel, tell them about our Costa Rica retreats and say, I simply wait for these bad boys to get brown and speckly. That's when the starches convert to sugars. They're sweet, full of pure energy and goodness. At that point, I peel them like this, pop them in these totes, and put them in the freezer, and we have smoothies for weeks. Bananas and potatoes, so calorie dense, so nutritious, full of those healthy carbs that we need. So. When it comes to building lean muscle, you hear a lot, a lot about protein, protein, protein. But the truth is, when you look at the science, what our muscles need for fuel and then recovery is actually glycogen. So protein, no doubt, but protein is in every single plant food that we eat. What I focus on personally is fueling myself properly and recovering properly. So if you Google search, what's the body's preferred fuel source, you will find glycogen. Well, where does glycogen come from? It comes from carbohydrates. And you know that carbs get a bad rap, but healthy carbs, whole food carbs, like bananas, potatoes. The second part of building lean muscle is training. I would say I lift probably three times a week and I ride my bike probably three times a week. And that keeps me feeling good, and that to me is the most important. I like the way I look, and most importantly, I like the way I feel. So I fuel with healthy carbs, I replenish with healthy carbs, I do what moves me, like Aaron always says. So I ride my bike when I wanna ride, I lift when I feel like lifting, I work outside, I do landscaping, I swim in the ocean. Yesterday, Max and I spent hours diving and snorkeling, watching fish, taking underwater video. Like, we're just always moving and always active. When I was landscaping, I'm taking breaks to do push-ups. I just feel so good, and I think it's because I'm properly fueled. Because I'll be 37 years old in about a week and a half, and I did not feel this good when I was 27, 10 years ago. I don't even think I felt this good when I was 17, 20 years ago, which is crazy to say. I am obviously aging. I'm starting to find gray hairs here and there. 
but I don't feel like I'm aging. And if you look at my body, the way I'm built and, and just the way I can move now, I don't feel older. I honestly, honestly feel better. I can do more push-ups, pull-ups, run faster. I'm more flexible, all the things. And I think it's because of my highly anti-inflammatory diet that keeps me nimble and fresh and strong and lean and most importantly, recovering. So highly recommended plant-based diet. Since we're talking about nutrition, I have to give a shout out to this week's video sponsor. Our video sponsors keep Eat, Move, Rest alive and we seriously love Compliment. They've been one of our oldest sponsors because we love them. You guys, Aaron and I have been using Compliment for years now and love that they're not like a traditional multivitamin. They are simply here to complement our already robust and healthy diet. Unlike most multivitamins, Compliment just has the eight essential nutrients that we may be needing a little extra of when eating a plant-based diet. And I love that because you actually can get too much of a good thing. Complements essential eight are B12, D3, DHA, EPA, iodine, K2, zinc, magnesium, and selenium. Obviously a lot of ways that you can get these dietarily, but why not make sure you have your bases covered and just pop a couple of these bad boys every day. Again, we've been doing it for years. What I love about Complement is that they are cruelty free. The packaging is compostable. Like it goes beyond just regular health and wellness. They are a seriously thoughtful and compassionate brand. We know the owners, we know everybody over there and seriously love these guys. Highly, highly recommend checking out Complement. You can save by using our discount code. Everything is linked here below. Bananas are done, now moving on to the oats. Like I mentioned, we eat oats every single day. They're packed full of protein and iron and healthy carbs. These are bomb, super easy, super fast. There is no better combination. So I'm gonna throw two cups of rolled oats in here with two cups of soy milk. I'm also gonna throw a tablespoon of chia and hemp seeds. Now I'm gonna blend these up first because they're better for digestion. You'll more easily absorb the nutrition from these powerhouse seeds if you blend them. So I'm gonna pour those in. Then we're gonna sweeten it with some plant protein powder. From there, I like to also stir in some peanut butter and the real kicker, if you guys wanna make these unreal delicious, some dark chocolate chips. Now. I just realized we're out of dark chocolate chips. So I'm instead gonna put some dried fruit in, maybe some cacao nibs. Honestly, the possibilities are endless. You can throw some frozen fruit, some fresh fruit, and put some dried mulberries, which are my favorite. And these dark dried mulberries are chalk full of iron. You can put these in the fridge overnight, but honestly, I'm gonna make them and then I'm gonna go work out. They're gonna be ready in probably like an hour. So. I'm gonna feast after my workout. Let's get to it. Max is out here helping wash the car. It's fun to be out here with him and he's actually got his own little protein snack of his own. Let me show you guys what he's got. So we've got some coconut water, some Brad's kale chips and a banana with some almond butter and I think there's some hemp seeds sprinkled in there too. These kids eat so, so good and they're gonna be so thankful one of these days when they're old and they're craving healthy foods already because they learned how from mom and dad. So again, we're always eating, we're always snacking. I just finished some plums inside which we don't get often but Aaron actually just picked up a couple days ago and they are so, so good. We're eating fruit all day long. A lot of mixed berry bowls at the beach, just as much fresh fruit as we can. Speaking of eating fruit all day, I'm actually wearing a CGM from Levels. It's a continuous glucose monitor, so no, I am not diabetic, but I am curious. So I'm not a huge fan of wearables. I don't like the Bluetooth, I don't like the Wi-Fi, but I go through phases. I'm actually wearing my Garmin watch that I've had for a couple years. I like knowing what's going on in my body and it's very interesting to see the trends of like blood sugar spikes as I eat a meal, like a banana on its own compared to, yes, a bowl of oatmeal or my green smoothie on its own compared to a green smoothie with my oats. So it's really interesting to see how blood sugar spikes, how it levels off and really cool to see I dig levels. I was really worried about slapping this thing on. I had to have Aaron help me. I was worried about the needle poking me, but literally took like a second and I didn't feel a thing. So I've been wearing it for I think a week actually already. 
and it's really super interesting. So yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Apple Watches, Garmin's, all these things. We're living in very interesting times, but I think this is all good. Like learning what's going on in our body, like real time is very, very interesting. And I think going to be very, very helpful. Now I need to stop talking and actually start working out. If you wanna see a video that's actually about fitness, things like zone two training for endurance, like on the bike, or full body versus split lifting. I'm actually pretty educated on all these. I've worked with trainers and listened to so many podcasts and read books about all this stuff. I would love to make a video about that. Okay, you guys, every night Aaron chops us an amazing pre-dinner salad while I start cooking. Tonight I'm making our favorite green curry. So I start with some green curry paste. I put a dash of extra coriander, a little dash of extra curry powder, some turmeric, and of course some salt and black pepper. I let this simmer down for a few minutes and then I throw in my garlic. I chop a whole onion. And again, let these simmer down for just a few minutes. Now I'm also going to be using some garden carrots that we grew on our own, which is super exciting. I just picked these a couple of days ago. So while we don't have a full functioning farm, there's no better feeling than being able to eat what you yourself has grown. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. And then I actually use the mandolin to chop these regular baby golden potatoes. It gives them kind of a unique texture and look. Last night we cooked up some chickpeas in the instant pot from dry. So I add these in and let them all cook down. After that, I add a whole head of broccoli. And again, let this simmer down for just a few minutes. You do not want this to overcook because the potatoes will disintegrate and that is definitely no fun. Separately, I'm cooking some quinoa and chopping some tofu. I like to put it in the oven with a little bit of coconut aminos on top. It's sweet, it gets nice and crispy, and the kids absolutely love this stuff. After it's ready, I set it out, let it cool for just a few minutes before we dish as a family. Then I add the final touches. I'm gonna chop some lime and some creamy coconut milk to add to the top. I add a little bit in the main pot of each, and then of course we're gonna add a little bit to each of our separate bowls as well. This just makes the whole thing come together. Here's our crispy tofu. I've got the kids' plates put together and I'm gonna put mine together. I like to sometimes pretend I'm a chef and make it really pretty. I always tell Aaron if I had to, I would go back and become a chef. I love everything about cooking, not just the eating part, but also plating it. So this has been super fun for me. The tofu added a nice touch. And again, it's amazing for the kids, lots of healthy protein. As you can tell, they're having a blast with this one. We sit down and pray as a family like we do every night. We're trying to make the kids remember to be full of gratitude for all things, even the simple things like having a meal on the table. This one is amazing. Okay, you guys, stepping outside for a little peace and quiet after dinner, and it's beautiful outside. This is my favorite time of day. I've been thinking all day, actually for years, what this way of eating and what this lifestyle is about. And it's just that, it's a lifestyle. It's not about food. It's not necessarily about fitness. It's about the whole lifestyle and what it means to be healthy, to feel healthy, and to be our best ultimately. This is about compassion, it's about love, it's about being our best selves, and it's working. It's working for us, it's good for the environment, it's good for so many things, and I seriously love it. I never thought that I would, I never thought I would eat this way, but I can't not recommend it to everyone because it's just working. This lifestyle is about abundance and it's not abundance that takes away from someone else or leaves others without like so many other forms of abundance. This is truly life-giving. It has become part of my spiritual practice, you know, understanding that God has gifted us these amazing foods that we don't have to kill for, that we don't have to murder and pillage and rape and all these things like fruit literally falls from the tree 
when it's ready for us to eat. It's a gift and it grows more. You know, it's always more abundant. And if it falls and doesn't get eaten, it produces a whole nother tree, right? That seed. I've often thought about what I would eat if I was no longer vegan, but I don't even crave those foods and I don't even ever like get to that point because like I said, this is like a spiritual practice to me. I can't imagine putting death into my body. I can't imagine eating another being and relying on death for my own life. It just doesn't seem necessary. So I'm sticking to it. I love the way I eat. I love the way we eat. I love the way I feel. I love the way we interact as a family, as a community, as a movement. This is a seriously cool thing and I feel so fortunate to have stumbled upon this with my beautiful wife Erin and now be able to share it in the way that I do and make it my job. I feel so fortunate. So thank you guys so much for being here, for supporting us, for following us, all the things. We've got some super exciting things coming up. Much love to you. We'll see you guys next week. Eat, move, rest, your best. Peace. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 